Hi everyone and welcome to the new episode of Twi Tutorials. Today we'll create a business English lesson based on a video. Let's begin. As always, I go to Twi.com and I select the first tool that I want to use. Today I have a video about G20 Summit that I want to use with my students. I copy the link into the YouTube video to text tool and I get the transcript immediately. Now I already sort of have an idea that today in this class I want to work with listening. So for the first task I want to create a fill in the gap activity. The students are going to watch the video and fill in the gaps in the transcript. I select the words that I want to exclude from the transcript to check my students listening skills and I do the magic. Obviously, this is not enough for listening, so I also want to create a true false exercise. My students are going to watch the video again and mark the statements as true or false. I have too many of them, so I'm just deleting some of them. I actually don't need that many for my class because it's the second exercise. All done. Now I'm thinking I actually need to introduce the video somehow in my class. I create some warm-up discussion questions that I can use with the video. I paste the link in the tool, then when it's done I delete the questions that I don't need and I move the questions to the top of my lesson because obviously this is where I want them to appear in my PDF. Now when it's all done I can hide the transcript itself because I don't need it. I have finished with the listening and I want to create some more exercises based on vocabulary. I'm going to use one of the tools that I actually really like. It creates the advantages and disadvantages of a certain phenomenon. I'm typing in the topic of my lesson, I select the level which is advanced and I generate the advantages and disadvantages. Then what I want to do is actually work with vocabulary. So I'm going to use the fill in the gap feature again and extract the phrases that I want my students to acquire as a result of this lesson. There we go. We have the phrases separately and the advantages and disadvantages separately. Finally, I need to create some sort of a writing activity. There we go. I choose the creative writing tool, type in the topic, all the phrases are copied automatically and I get three awesome creative writing tasks. Again, I actually don't need that many, so I'm going to choose just one. I really like the third one because it invites my students not only to write something, but also do some research beforehand. So I delete the rest and I save the exercise. Here I also want to show you that you can edit the task. Get creative with your writing is not quite clear. Right, so I'm going to replace it with a detailed instruction about what I want my students to do in this class. Now that I go back to my previous exercise, I'm thinking, hmm, maybe I can make it even more interesting. I'm going to mix the advantages and disadvantages into one list and ask my students not only to fill in the gaps, but also sort everything into two groups. So it's going to be not only a vocabulary activity, but also a speaking exercise that invites my students to discuss. And of course, I am changing the task to let my students know what is required. Now I'm going to arrange all the exercises in the order that I need. I'm going to hide some of them because I don't need my students to see them. I'm just checking for the last time that everything is all right. I'm going to change the true false task uh, for my students as well. And the fill in the gap activity, again, I don't quite like the default task, so I'm going to replace it. When it's all done, I'm just saving the whole project as a PDF and this is what I have. All my exercises arranged in the order that I wanted them to be. Fill in the gap, true false, the speaking slash vocabulary exercise and the writing. And of course I have the answers here for me as well. So this is how it's done. Don't forget to leave comments, like and subscribe. See you in the next episodes.